Today, we're in the herd with women's basketball. The Bison are coming off of two consecutive home victories, each by double figures. Head coach Aaron Russell feels that his forwards and guards complement each other very nicely. Our post players were, were feeling a bit crowded in there and it happened at different points throughout the season that we kind of go into those shooting lulls and if we're not hitting shots from the perimeter, um, it doesn't make things easier for us to put the ball on the floor, it doesn't make things easier for Odd, Debs and the rest of post players to, to kind of have their space inside. Um, so it's kind of a chicken and the egg thing. You know, I think obviously with us hitting shots, it helped out our post players, but um, the better off our post players are, the more open you'd think our our shots from the perimeter will be. Sophomore forward Claire DeBoer tallied a career-high 27 points in her last game and went to the charity stripe 14 times. She showed great grit and determination. I was definitely a focus of mine to, um, I don't know, be aggressive, drive, and be strong, and it worked out last game. The six foot one reigning conference rookie of the year is a big reason why the orange and blue are number one in the Patriot League in two key defensive categories. It's defensive field goal percentage and, and rebounding margin. Those are the two things that we really measure our defense um, and, and really try to emphasize the most. And, you know, we, we've had our lulls. I didn't think we were great this past weekend, um, but, but we've been pretty good in both those two categories for the most part of the year, um, both throughout the Patriot League, but even, you know, ranking nationally. I think we, we've been up there pretty high. Um, so that's something we try to hang our hat on, and for the most part, we've been, we've been good with that. Uh, I definitely think that's one of our identities. Um, we're really focusing on rebounding, getting stops, which have really been helping. Lately. Bucknell, who is currently tied for second in the standings with Lehigh, knows it will have its hands full with the Mountain Hawks Wednesday night at 7 p.m. You know, we, we did kind of dig ourselves a hole by by losing too early at home. Um, that's something you want to do when you're um, you know chasing the, the rest of the teams in the league. But I think, you know, we, we've been pretty tough mentally, you know, and I think that's one of the key components to winning on the road, and, and hopefully we can do that again come Wednesday.